Numbers chapter 4, Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Numbers chapter 4, verse 1, And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi after their families by the house of their fathers. From thirty years old and upward, even until fifty years old, all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. So the Kohathites took care of all the tabernacle furniture. Young Levites could do various jobs connected with the tabernacle, but the minimum age for transporting tabernacle items was thirty. Verse 4, this shall be the service of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation about the most holy things. And when the camp sets forward, Aaron shall come and his sons, and they shall take down the covering veil and cover the ark of testimony with it, and shall put thereon the covering of badger skins and shall spread over it a cloth holy of blue, and shall put in the staves thereof. And upon the table of showbread they shall spread a cloth of blue, and put thereon the dishes, and the spoons, and the bowls, and covers to cover with. And the continual bread shall be thereon. And they shall spread upon them a cloth of scarlet, and cover the same with a covering of badger skins, and shall put it, or I should say, shall put in the staves thereof. And they shall take a cloth of blue, and cover the candlestick of the light, and its lamps, and its tongs, and its snuff dishes, and all the oil vessels thereof, wherewith they minister to it. And they shall put it and all the vessels thereof within a covering of badger skins, and shall put it upon a bar. And upon the golden altar they shall spread a cloth of blue, and cover it with a covering of badger skins, and shall put to the staves thereof. And they shall take all the instruments of ministry wherewith they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a cloth of blue, and cover them with a covering of badger skins, and shall put them on a bar. And they shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth thereon. And they shall put upon it all the vessels thereof, wherewith they minister about it, even the censers, and the flesh hooks, and the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar, and they shall spread upon it a covering of badger skins and put to the staves of it. And when Aaron and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary, as the camp is to set forward after that, the sons of Koath shall come to bear it. But they shall not touch any holy thing lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Koath and the tabernacle of the congregation. And to the office of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest pertains the oil for the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily meat offerings, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of all the tabernacle, and of all that therein is, in the sanctuary, and in the vessels thereof. And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Cut not off the tribe of the families of the Kohathites from among the Levites, but thus do to them, that they may live and not die. When they approach to the most holy things, Aaron and his son shall go in and appoint them every one to his service and to his burden, but they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die. So God is very specific about this. And we will have to remember this because something happens later um, that will remind us of God's command and, and just how serious it is to 
disobey it, any command of God, but especially as it regards the holy things. So Aaron, the priest, and his sons had the job of covering all the tabernacle's holy objects. And they also placed carrying staves through the side rings of the furniture. And after they had finished, after they had, they, after they had finished covering everything, they had everything all set. Then the rest of the Levitical Kohathites were in charge of moving those holy items. But God, again, made it very clear that they were to be careful not to touch any of the furnishings or they would die. 21. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take also the sum of the sons of Gershon throughout the houses of their fathers by their families, from thirty years old and upward until fifty years old, you shall number them. All that enter in to perform the service, to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites to serve and for burdens. And they shall bear the curtains of the tabernacle and the tabernacle of the congregation its covering and the covering of the badger skins that is above, I should say, is above upon it, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the hangings of the court, and the hanging for the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about, and their cords and all the instruments of their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. Verse 27, At the appointment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the service of the sons of the Gershonites in all their burdens and in all their service, and you shall appoint to them in charge all their burdens. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tabernacle of the congregation, and their charge shall be under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. The Levitical Gershonites were given the job of moving the non-wooden parts of the tabernacle. And so they transported the coverings, the curtains, and the ropes. Verse 29. As for the sons of Merari, you shall number them after their families by the house of their fathers, from thirty years old and upward even to fifty years old, you shall number them, every one that enters into the service to do the work of the tabernacle of the congregation. And this is the charge of their burden. According to all their service in the tabernacle of the congregation, the boards of the tabernacle and the bars thereof and the pillars thereof and the sockets thereof and the pillars of the court round about, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service. And by name you shall reckon the instruments of the charge of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their service, and the tabernacle of the congregation, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. So the Levite, uh, Levites who were Mar Mararites, were given the job of transporting the wooden and the metal portions of the tabernacle. In verse 34, And Moses and Aaron and the chief of the congregation numbered the sons of the Kohathites after their families and after the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even to 50 years old, everyone that enters into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. And those that were numbered of them by their families were 2,750. These were they that were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation which Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And those that were numbered of the sons of Gershon, 
throughout their families and by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even to 50 years old everyone that enters into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation even those that were numbered of them throughout their families by the house of their fathers were 2,630. These are they that were numbered of the family, families of the sons of Gershon, of all that might do service in the tabernacle of the congregation, whom Moses and Aaron did number according to the commandment of the Lord. And those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, throughout their families, by the house of their fathers, from 30 years old and upward, even to 50 years old, every one that enters into the service for the work in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them after their families, were 3,200. These be those that were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses." All those that were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the chief of Israel numbered after their families and after the house of their fathers, from 30 years old and upward even to 50 years old, everyone that, had came, everyone that came to do the service of the ministry and the service of the burden in the tabernacle of the congregation, even those that were numbered of them, were 8,000 and five hundred and four score. According to the commandment of the Lord, they were numbered by the hand of Moses, every one according to his service and according to his burden. Thus they were numbered of him as the Lord commanded Moses. So God goes into great detail, doesn't he? And, but that's because individuals are important to God and orderliness is important to God, and specifics are important to God. And he gets very specific, and, and in some cases repetitive. But that's okay, because this is the Word of God. And there were 8,580 Levites involved in the work of the tabernacle. And we've got them broken down by their families and also by the jobs that they were assigned by God to do. Everybody had a job, and every job was ordained by God. And just like us today, if you're a Christian, God has a job for you to do, something specifically for you to do that no one else is supposed to do. And how do you know what it is? By staying close to him so that you can hear his voice and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Just like Moses and Aaron heard the voice of God and were able to pass that on today, Christians have the Holy Spirit in them who leads us by a still small voice and through the written word.